Hello and welcome back to the Watchworks. Uh, today's video is actually going to be a showcase video, which I know isn't really the norm on the channel, but uh, over, I would say just the next week, I'm going to be making some showcase videos. I'm moving here soon and don't really have the time to make um, service and repair videos. So I figured as I pack these clocks up, I'll film some showcase videos on them. Uh, as I have been meaning to over, I'd say, the past year or so, uh, but just haven't had the time. Well, I'm packing these up, so, you know, I inventory these. Uh, his videos are actually a good reference, and I've been wanting to share my collection with all y'all. Um, this here is a 1959 West Clocks Clock of Tomorrow, that um, retro-futuristic, I guess, mid-century modern styling. Um, if you can't tell from the background, uh, I do like my 1950s and 60s stuff. There's a vintage flying saucer lamp there and a vintage fan. Also my general electric video clock there. There'll be a video coming out on that sometime. Um, but yeah, 1959 West Clock's Clock of Tomorrow. Starting off with a bit of background history of this thing. Uh, this originally was a prototype for the um, West Clock's Big Ben Style 7. So this is a prototype. And here's what the Style 7s ended up looking like. This is a two-key Baby Ben Style 7. So it's an earlier model. Look at that, um, domed crystal, isn't that something? It's got the radial numerals. So it's a more, more simplistic <laughs> design, as you can see. There's your side profile, and yeah, this is a Baby Ben. I don't have a Big Ben version of one of these, uh, although I would be inclined to pick one up at a good price. Um, so yes, this indeed was a prototype in West Clocks. The people at West Clocks decided, hmm, well, we may have not uh, made this the Big Ben model, but uh, why don't we take this, put it into production, and then uh, mark it up as a premium clock? And that's what they did. <laughs> Uh, in fact, on the hang tag for these things, it would tell you, congratulations for buying our most expensive clock yet, basically, is what it said to sum that up. So that got a bit of a chuckle out of that. Um, this one here was pretty rough when I got it. It's the cheapest one off of eBay a few years ago, I think. Uh, this is heavily oxidized. It was basically blackened from oxidation. Um, luckily it cleaned up with some steel wool and then polish, uh, that's, that's how badly oxidized it was. I had to, um, <laughs> braid the surface a bit. I'm glad it was not a plating, uh, because, well, you know, platings easily come off if you try to polish them, so glad that did not. It's probably some sort of bronze alloy. Yeah, side profile, nicely domed crystal. And you can see even the dial is domed, that is not, that is not any, um, optical trickery there. That is the actual profile of the dial. Very cool. Although it looks like the hands are overlapping, that is a bit of optical trickery because they are not. There's your bell. The back of it with the interesting base. There's your time and alarm setting knob which pulls out just like on the Style 7 single keys, which I don't have one of those. Style 7 baby bend single keys I should add. <laughs> And then there's your winding knob. You can see you wind it up here. And yes, it has a one-way clutch, so you can do that to wind it up. Uh, same goes for the alarm set knob. Turn it like this. Nothing happens. If you turn it the other way like that, you can see the alarm hand goes around. Um, and to set the time, you pull it out like that. And you can set the time. These, I think, are made of a phenolic resin material, Bakelite, uh, and this would have been the original color of the clock. It wouldn't have been this um, almost brownish yellow off-white color. <laughs> uh, it's definitely yellowed. This also would have been white. This right here is your alarm engage, disengage button, so you go, your alarm is on, and then it's off. Here's some 
luminescent material molded into there, and I'll demonstrate that with this. In fact, the whole dial, you can see, has those pips on there, and then the hands are also luminescent. Now I'll demonstrate the alarm here. Oh, let me go back around here. So that's the alarm. So that should give you a good idea. Um, it has what is called the chime alarm, which was a feature on Big Ben starting, I think, from the Style 3 to the Style 6 Big Ben. Um, then it was discontinued after then. Uh, but it starts off with that chime, and then it, and then it um, changes to a constant ringing. And I think West Glock's slogan for that was, uh, first he whispers and he shouts, at least with the older bends. I don't think they said it for this one. So. Now with the dial here, you can see the kind of starburst sunburst pattern. Uh, and each one of those lines actually represents a minute, which is really cool. Uh, it's not just some decorative feature they slapped onto there, it actually is, um, a functional decoration, I guess you could say. Uh, also note the West Glocks logo there, and that wonderful 1950s Disneyland font. <laughs> also the hands too. The arm hand uh, is very cool. It's this kind of minty green with that little tail on the end. Also has this uh, little nip at the bottom, which uh, the Style 7 did keep, actually in a sort of way. Um, so yeah, that's really about it. I think I covered all bases on this clock here. I'll do another spin around here quickly. Uh, one day I try to either restore the paint or repaint it possibly. Uh, I do want to polish this uh, a bit better and uh, lacquer it. But yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this. <laughs> I've done so many takes of this, so uh, I'm glad to have done this video without any real hiccups. Um, so that being said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, this is a pretty cool clock to do a video on, and uh, I'm privileged to have this because it is a really cool looking clock. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching. You've stuck around to the end. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.